So hello, we're going to be using the Pick Laser Light software with our 3D printer and the JTEC Photonics 2.8 watt up laser upgrade kit. Um, we're going to go through real quick and do a laser engraving. We're going to select a file. You can select any bitmap you have. We have this one of a car here. We're going to take this picture and what it's going to do is going to transpose every single pixel into a different intensity value for the laser. Um, we're going to look at it and see what size, that means 70 by 50. Let's change these settings and see what we got. Our resolution here is 0.25 millimeters. Um, we've set the max laser value to 255 and a zero value of zero. So that's what the, the laser is going to be using. The command for this one is going to be M107 to turn the laser off. Turn the laser on is going to be M106 with an S. Um, and it's going to take that and transpose the 255 values afterwards. We're going to be using the JTEC button for 3D printers, and the output file for Repeater Host is going to be .gcode. Everything looks good, so we're going to load the file. It's going to load, and we're just going to go up here and say Make G-Code. And the G-Code will be made, and we're going to say Save G-Code. We're just going to type in a file number. Um, just put something in here that doesn't matter. I'm going to press OK, and it's going to go through and convert all of those pixels into a file. Next, we're going to load it on our printer. So we just focused our laser down to a very small point um, onto the corner of the surface. We've set our zero position, and that's where it's going to be. So we just checked that, and now we're going to load the program. We've loaded the program into the host software. And now we are going to uh, press start, and we're going to start engraving. This is engraving in the horizontal direction. You can engrave in the vertical direction, or even do a 45 degree angle. Um, this happens to be a birch plywood, a uh, very thin sheet. Um, you can engrave on various different kinds of woods, on mirrors, on glass, on uh, different kinds of objects, uh, a lot of different kinds of materials to play around with. As you can see, this setup has a fan um, upgrade mount behind it, which helps a lot with the smoke. Keeps the smoke away from the, the lens. might be speeding up the video here real quick just to show the uh, total process here. It's pretty fast. We're running at about a thousand millimeters per minute. But just in the sake of time, we're just going to speed up the video. So we're going to do that right now and we'll be right back. So we're about halfway done. Just wanted to show how in the host software it's in it is fluctuating the fan signal. You can see it going down low and then up higher. The higher it is, of course, the darker the pixel, the lower it is, the the uh, less dark it is. 
Um, but that's basically how it's doing it through PWM into the laser driver from the pick and grave software it generated the g-code to do that process And there we have it. Laser engraved photo etching using the JTEC Photonics 2.8 watt laser kit, laser upgrade kit for any machine that has PWM and the pick engrave light software. Buy yours today at jtechphotonics.com and visit pickengrave.com for more information on the software. Thank you.